Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we are bringing uh, for you a collection of uh, animation films by uh, uh, Hermina Tirlova, who was uh, a distinguished uh, animation filmmaker in Czechoslovakia, uh, who started her career very early when she was like 25 years old and she was a, an actress and performer. So she knew how to entertain the audience and she, she loved entertaining the audience. Uh, at that age, she met uh, Karla Dodal, who was uh, also um, a new person in uh, the advertising industry, in animation filmmaking, and uh, they started uh, working together. The main inspiration for their work uh, came from the American slapstick cartoons, uh, which were very popular in Czechoslovakia in the 1920s, and uh, they started trying out the technology and the technique of animation, uh, and uh, shortly after that they developed their own attitude and uh, they started making mainly uh, advertising uh, animation films for different companies in Czechoslovakia in the, in the 1920s and the 1930s. What you are going to watch today are uh, altogether it's nine short films. First, um, uh, two or three are in black and white. They are rather old. Those are films from the uh, 1940s, when uh, Hermina Tirlova was making her first films as uh, an uh, animator and uh, partly director of those films. Uh, and uh, the other films are already in color. Her style uh, in animation was um, uh, at that time evolving on uh, different tracks because she was making cartoons, she was making stop motion animation films, she was making puppet animation, but also she started combining the uh, life action of uh, actors or, or human beings and uh, puppets or objects. And animation of objects was her specialty. She was uh, uh, kind of able to discover uh, life qualities in objects which are uh, not human, like uh, handkerchief, for example, or little marble. Uh, you'll see the examples of, of, her, of her style uh, in the collection of, uh, of these films. These films are from the period between uh, uh, the early 1940s and early 1980s. So this is a long kind of span of time uh, during which uh, she tried uh, different uh, styles, but especially after 1945, when um, the film industry in Czechoslovakia was nationalized and uh, the state uh, took full control over the full uh, of the whole uh, film industry. Uh, uh, Hermina Tirlova got uh, rather uh, good uh, uh, circumstances or conditions for working as a uh, as an artist, as a film artist, especially in um, the city of Zlín in Moravia, which is a place with a very rich uh, tradition in film production. Uh, because the city is connected with uh, Batya company uh, and Batya himself was uh, supporting the film, independent filmmaking a lot and he had big ambitions in this area. Also he uh, knew that uh, film uh, commercials for cinemas uh, were a very important medium for, for the success of his business. So Tirlova started working in the early 40s in uh, the city of Zlín and uh, after 1945 she got uh, those new conditions in the nationalized film industry. Uh, so gradually uh, over the 50s, 60s, 70s until the mid-1980s because her career was really long, she, fin she uh, was making films until mid-1980s when she was a very uh, old lady and uh, she was uh, uh, kind of loved by everyone because she was a living legend of Czech animation. So she was working in, uh, in Zlín and uh, uh, basically uh, kind of uh, making variations of her uh, kind of poetic uh, narration. Her films were aiming at uh, small children. She was always trying to uh, bring some sort of uh, morality, which was, however, digestible for the children audience. Uh, but uh, 
uh, you know, some of those films might look uh, kind of old uh, for the young ones uh, today, but uh, I believe that you will appreciate the diversity in style and also the, um, the intensity of, uh, of her own work and, uh, and craft, because many of her films, including the very first one, uh, Ferda the Ant, uh, were very demanding regarding the production and, uh, and animation uh, craft. So I hope you'll enjoy it and uh, I hope that you will uh, stay faithful to uh, classical Czech films uh, in, the, in the Czech Center in New York City. Thank you very much for coming.